Here is also uh, the the latest where they are t- attempting this exact same theme, which is, um, you know, the vaccines don't work, that COVID's not really dangerous. CDC Director uh, Walensky was on Good Morning America with Cecilia Vega. If you listen to the context in which she says this, you can figure out what she's talking about. But the right wing was so hopped up that when they heard Walensky say 75% of the people dying have four comorbidities, and they're not talking about like, you know, they're, they're talking about serious comorbidities, serious comorbidities. Um, they got really, really excited and skipped over the part that she was saying 75% of the people who die who are 75 percent of the people who die who are vaccinated have at least four comorbidities in other words it is very hard to die from covid if you are vaccinated is what she was saying but they took this to mean that people who are just generally speaking were only dying from covid if they had four comorbidities uh, here is that clip that they misinterpreted because they didn't hear the question in the context. I want to ask you about those encouraging headlines that we're talking about this morning, this new study showing just how well vaccines are working to prevent severe illness. Given that, is it time to start rethinking how we're living with this virus, that it's potentially here to stay? You know, really important study, if I may just summarize it, a study of 1.2 million people who are vaccinated between December and October and demonstrated that severe disease occurred in about 0.1 zero one five percent of the people who are um, receive their primary series and death in point zero zero three percent of those people the overwhelming number of deaths over 75 percent occurred in people who had at least four comorbidities so really these are people who were unwell to begin with and yes really encouraging news in the context of omicron this um, means not only just to get your primary series but to get your booster series um, and yes we, we're we're really encouraged um, by these results. Dr. Walensky, thank okay. you so much for your- So to be clear here, she is talking about a study that none of these people bothered to look at. Mm-hmm. And she is saying just before she says that 75% figure that she's talking about the vaccinated. That the only people, or I should say, three out of four people who die when they're vaccinated, and it's a very small number of people who are dying because they're vaccinated, period. Three out of four of those people have four comorbidities. The study itself says among 1,228,664 persons who completed primary vaccination during December 2020 to October 2021, a total of 2,246 developed COVID-19 and 189 had a severe outcome, including 36 who died, Risk for severe outcomes was higher among persons who were aged over 65 years uh, old, who were immunosuppressed, or had at least one of six other underlying conditions. That's to get sick. All persons with severe outcomes had at least one of these risk factors. And 70, uh, basically 78% of those who died, 78% of those who died had four or more risk factors. That means immunosuppression, diabetes, chronic kidney, cardiac, or pulmonary, neurologic, or liver disease. Four or more. But there's such a desperate desire by these people to prove that the vaccine doesn't work or that COVID's not real. Or that to the extent that it's real, like, I, I just don't understand, like... Well, the message, you can get both. You can you can message both to the vaccine doesn't work people while saying, I'm the actual person that believes the vaccine works. Because the, the vaccine don't work people hear that and say, see, this is all pointless anyway. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's a whole... It's a... There's a whole political ideology and party 
that is developed around this idea that COVID is not as dangerous as we say it is. And therefore, in the, in, in the vaccine is uh, BS, which also proves that COVID is not as dangerous as we've been saying it is. And that the people pushing the vaccine know that it's BS, which means that they also know that COVID is not as dangerous as it is. And they're, and they're running on this and they're making money off it.